so let's discuss the main the first measure of central tendency for a data especially for two types of data one is the grouped and ungrouped data so the three me measures of central tendency which exist for the data collection and statistics one is the mean the next is median and mode mean median mode are the measures of central tendency for the given data now initially to study about mean let's try to differentiate the mean of the group data and the mean of ungrouped data so there are two types of data as we have already identified now let's see how we can understand the mean for ungrouped data and then how we can understand the mean for the grouped data now initially to start with my mean which is generally denoted with mu or x bar is given by the formula sigma fi xi by sigma fi where xi which is x1 x2 x3 so on and so forth till xn are called observations or they are called the data now observations like the marks obtained in mathematics as in case of the previous problem then each of the marks as obtained by each and every individual student in mathematics for 100 marks is nothing but the observation so marks of each student are identified as observations in the data in the mathematical or the statistical language we call them as observations now fi is frequency of each observation xi now this is very important because when i say the number of students who got 56 marks in the class if i say there are five students who got 56 marks in the class out of 100 then i say the frequency of 56 marks is 5 because 5 students obtained that so number of students or number of times the observation repeats is called frequency this is a very important note because in both the data frequency is identified as the number of repetitions or number of times the observation occurs so we identify the frequency through the number of times or the number of marks each student gets for that particular mark 56 marks 5 students so frequency of 56 is 5 this is how we understand frequency is number of times the observation repeats now similarly when i come with mean of ungrouped data is how i understand this where for a group data i have the mean this or x bar as again sigma fi xi by sigma fi the formula doesn't change but the only thing which changes is the observation because here we have the direct observations x1 to xn but here xi is the mid value of each class so when we come to the group data the only thing which differs is that frequency is same but xi because it is in the group form we take the mid value of each class interval so let's see that in brief when we come to the example problem discussed in brief for the group data initially we will try to understand how ungrouped data can be used to calculate the mean to start with the first data that is ungrouped data finding mean using ungrouped data now let's take the similar example as we have taken in the previous case where the number of students in the class and the number of students who got the marks in mathematics subject is what we're going to take as an example problem to understand mean for ungrouped data so let's take this example problem so I take the data number of marks in max 
is one column and then number of students in class is next column. This is how I differentiate the two columns. The number of marks obtained in max and number of students in the class. So each of that I will take. Now clearly number of students in class is frequency because it is the number of students which decide on each student getting as different different marks. Therefore I take the frequency fi here and the observations are the marks obtained by each student. Therefore each of the observations comes in the first column as xi and each of the frequencies which is fi comes in the second column. So let's take the data for example I have the data 10, 20, 36. Now each of the marks of students in mathematics has been given with the data of number of students who got say 10 marks in the entire class which is the frequency as we told that frequency is the number of times the observation occurs then clearly here if I say for example the frequency is 1 which makes me understand that there is only one student in the class who got 10 marks is how I understand the real life situation using the frequency value. So if my frequency say for example here is 3 then I say that there are three students in the class who got 36 marks out of 100 marks. So identifying this, then proceeding similarly, I get, say, my frequency is 4, 3, 2, 4, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. So each of them have been respectively identified with the frequency where 50 students got this 56, 60, 70, 72, 80, 88, 92 and 95 is how we identify the number of marks connected with the frequency of the class. Now coming to this, let's see how we can calculate the frequency, the mean of the group ungrouped data. Now this is ungrouped data because we are not grouping the marks but we are straight away taking the marks of each and individual student. So this cannot be a group data as clearly be seen with the first column where the marks are directly related with the frequency but not with the group of students but the each and individual student of the table. Yes. So coming to this, let's see how I can calculate the total frequency that is sigma fi because my mean is sigma fi xi by sigma fi that in this case I make a new column which I need is fi into xi. So I multiply this with this to get fi into xi with this. 10 times of 1 is 10, 20 times of 1 is 20, 36 times of 3 is 90, 108 and 40 times of 4 is 160, 50 times of 3 is 150 and 56 times of 2 is 112 and 60 times is 240 and 70 times of 4 is 280 and then 72 times of 1 is 72 and then finally 80 times of 1 is 80 and 88 times of 2 is 178 176 92 times of 3, 270, 276 and 95 times of 1 is 95. This is how we get the Fi Xi of the Fi and Xi individually. Now here with each of Fi Xi and Fi into Xi, we have to calculate first Sigma Fi which is sum of each of the frequencies of the table. Now when I add them, I get 1 plus 1 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 9, 13, 16, 17, 18, 18 plus 8, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 3. And then finally, when I add up, I get this to be 30. 
the total frequency is 30 is what I get out here. Now next coming to sigma fi xi I had to add each of the values which I obtain on adding as 1779 is what we get for sigma fi and sigma fi xi. Now with these two values we had to find the mean of the ungrouped data which is the example problem therefore my mean x bar or mu is given by the formula sigma fi xi by sigma fi. Now with this formula I substitute the values of sigma fi xi by sigma fi which approximately on division simplifies to give you 59.3. Therefore mean of the given problem is 59.3 three is how we identify the mean of this ungrouped data. So what is this mean? What will the what is the significance of this value of the entire problem? Now what do I mean that my mean is 59.3 is understood in more general sense of this real life problem is the biggest question when mean is calculated. Mean in other words is also called the average therefore this gives me the clear understanding that the average marks of the entire class is 59.3. Though there are one student who got 10 marks and there are the highest being four students who got 60, 70 and 40 marks, then my clear picture for the teacher to understand gives me that in the entire class we have the average of 59.3. The average of the entire class is 59.3 so mean helps us in identifying the average of the class so average marks of the entire class being 59.3 is not a bad average but a medium average in the entire class is how we understand mean in real life mean is average and for ungrouped data this is how we do through an example problem